Using the Sweet Hawk Timers app, you're able to create SLAs, service level agreement workflows, to ensure that you are responding to your customers in the right amount of time and also report on how long things are actually taking. So here we are on a blank ticket that I haven't uh, created yet. So what we're gonna do to show this in action is uh, I'm gonna create an urgent ticket uh, like so. Um, and when we create this uh, ticket, uh, we'll, have the, we'll be able to see that the timers app kicks into gear, uh, which you can see right here. So we have two timers that have been applied. Uh, one uh, timer here that is uh, saying that we need to respond in less than one minute. So you can see how this uh, works in, in, in practice. Um, and the other one is looking for the uh, ticket to be resolved in less than two hours. Now, um, when a timer uh, is applied to the ticket, depending on the type of timer, uh, uh, you can do uh, anything when the timer starts. For example, in this case, we posted a private comment saying that this is an urgent ticket. Um, when the timer ends, which in this case is a bad thing because uh, we don't want the SLA to be breached, which will be breaching in just a sec, um, or when the timer stops. So the timer is when a timer stops, the desired behavior that you're looking for is actually taking place. So that's uh, kind of when the ticket is actually responded to uh, in this case. Now, as you can see here, the SLA is just breached. Uh, so now we're going into the red. And as a result of the uh, SLA breaching, uh, firstly, we get a private comment uh, that we've set up to be pushed into the ticket. Oh no, the one minute first response SLA has been breached. Uh, we've also got uh, the, our Notify app popping up a notification into uh, kind of agents' uh, views here so they can jump on it quickly. Uh, and then we've also, I've also got it set up to kind of send through an email uh, letting uh, agents know uh, that way as well. So really, I mean, it's, it's up to you what you do. Uh, when the timer starts, when the duration ends, uh, or when the timer stops, you can also do things relative to when the time, uh, the duration ends. So, you know, maybe your um, normal first response time, you know, you're looking for is uh, say two hours. So maybe 15 minutes before the, the two hours uh, kind of breaches, uh, you want something else to happen. You can do that as well. So let's now um, uh, cause this uh, SLA to stop uh, by, performing the desired action on this. So if I go uh, here is your first response and submit that. This will in turn stop uh, the, uh, the timer, which we'll see in a sec. It's now stopped. Um, and as a result of this uh, stopping, uh, we have other actions that we can set on the ticket. For example, in this case, we are recording how long that first response time took. Uh, and that goes into a, a numeric field. Uh, we set, there's a custom numeric field that you can set up. Uh, and when uh, data like this ends up in a numeric field over in Zendesk Explore, uh, it ends up there as a, a metric by default. So it's easy to slice and dice and build reports how you like. Uh, there's also a reporting uh, thing within the, uh, the timers app, so you can kind of see uh, in the report section here, uh, tickets that um, uh, have or have not uh, uh, breached the SLA and how long they took. So uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of how SLAs uh, can be kind of dealt with using uh, Sweethawk timers. If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at sweethawk.com. Thanks for watching.